Hi, welcome to the SHRM channel. In this video, we are going to learn how to create a user data importer. To do this, log into your admin account and navigate to system data data importers. Click on add new to continue. First, you need to give a name to your data importer. Then select user data as the data type. You can leave the object type as none and also add a small description about the data importer here. Then click on add uh, to add the columns. So if you don't know what are the columns you should add, you can go to the users tab to find out the columns. Here you can see four columns, username, email, employee and user level. So let's go back and add these columns. Click on add new, we have to start from the beginning. Select user data as data type and click on add. So the first column should be the username column. Uh, CSV field name should be in simple letters. So let's add username as this. For the field type, you can add a name as you wish. I'm going to add it as. The column type is normal. If a column type is normal, you can leave these two as it is. And since this is a ID field, you need to change the value to yes here. Sample value should be a value shown in the sample download. So for this column, I add the sample value as user1. Under the help text, you need to add a small description about the column. So for this column, I add username as the help text. Click on done. So we have created the first column. And let's see how to create the second column. Second column should be the email column. Uh, for the CSV file, you can type email in simple letters. For the field title, you can add email like this. Uh, type of the column is normal. We can leave these two. Uh, this is not an ID field. We can leave it as no. For the sample value, uh, you can enter a sample email address. Something like this. Under the help text, you can type email and done. So we have created two columns. Let's create the third one. Third column is the employee column. You can add the CSV field name and field title as we did before. Remember, the type of this column should be reference and select employee as the depends on and employee ID as the depends on field. So this is not an ID field, you can leave it as no. Sample value should be uh, a sample uh, employee ID. You can mention it as something like this. Under the help text, you can say And click on done. So we have created three columns and let's create the last one which is user level. Type user level like this and field title. Uh, type of the column is normal. We can leave this too and this is not an ID field. Sample value uh, you can enter a sample user level. So uh, you can add admin. You can add all three levels or you can just leave uh, admin here. Under the help text you can say user level. And done. So we have created all four columns. Now you can click on save. 
so this is a sample CSV file that I have created to show you so here I have created four columns username email user level and employee so under the employee column you can see I haven't entered the employee name instead I have mentioned uh, the employee ID because when we create the employee column under the data importer we created it as a reference column from the employee ID now let's go back uh, and import this file to the system go to data import files click on add new name uh, the data import file Select user data importer as the data import definitions and upload the file. Click on save. Now you can click on the process icon. We have successfully imported the data to the system. Now you can go to the users tab to see the users that you have created. Thank you for watching this video.